So for question five, you are told to check if these two sets of function, that is f1 and f2, if they are linearly dependent or linearly independent on this interval here, from negative infinity to infinity, that's on the set of all real numbers. Now the thing is to check if they are either linearly dependent or linearly independent. All we need to do is we just check the wrong scan. So we check the wrong scan. If the wrong scan gives us um, zero, it implies it's linearly dependent. But if it is not zero, then it is linearly independent. So let's start by doing that. So to find the wrong scan, so the solution. The solution. Now the wrong scan of f1, f2 is going to be the determinant of our f1 is e to the power x plus 2 and f2 is e to the power x minus 3. So for the next level, we'll take the derivative of this, which is still e to the power x plus 2 and the derivative of this is e to the power x minus 3. So by the time we take the determinant of this, what we'll have is going to be e to the power x plus 2 times e to the power x minus 3 minus this times this so that will be e to the power x minus 3 times e to the power x plus 2 so since this and this are equal so this implies that the wrong scan is 0 so since the wrong scan is 0 it implies that f1 and f2 are linearly they are linearly dependent. And that completes that.